Hi, we are ready to start our next project, which is going to be plaster masks. So these are really cool because you form them on your own face. So they're an exact fit for your face. So to do this, we just need a few supplies. Uh, you're gonna need some Vaseline to cover your skin to protect it. And you're gonna need this stuff called plaster cloth wrap. And what it is, is it's cloth that has plaster on it, hooked onto it. And this is the stuff they used to make casts out of if you broke your arm or your leg or something. This is what they used to make casts. So what you do is you're gonna cut this into strips, dip it in warm water, and then it will form so that you, on your face so that you can make a mask. We're also gonna need some elastic string to attach the mask so you can wear it, and then whatever embellishments and decorations that you want. Okay. So we are going to do our first step in getting ready to do the masks, which is going to be covering Cricut's face in Vaseline. So it's really important that anywhere that the plaster strips are going to touch will be covered in Vaseline so it doesn't stick on your skin. What it does is it grabs the little hairs on your face and it pulls them out when you try to take the mask off, which isn't very comfortable. So we are going to be careful to get around, we're going to put lots of Vaseline in their eyebrows and just all over their face. Now we had to make sure that their hair was out of the way. So to do this, you can do a ponytail, um, you can do hair clips. We did a headband, so turn sideways. So you can see a headband that's just holding their hair off of their face so that it, the Vaseline won't get in there and the plaster won't get in there. All right, so turn toward me. So this is definitely a partner kind of job. So if you're doing this with a brother or sister, get them to help you out. We're going to just smear Vaseline all over. And just go straight over the eyebrows with the Vaseline. You really want to get a lot on the eyebrows because you don't want to get them stuck in the plaster. That's going to hurt when it comes off. And go right over the lips too, because the plaster is going to cover up the mouth. So make sure you get Vaseline on the lips too. Okay, I think we're done with the Vaseline part. Now we're going to get ready. Um, I'm going to go get a bowl of warm water so that we can start dipping our plaster strips. All right, so I have cut those rolls of plaster into about one inch strips. I just have a whole pile of them here. This is pretty messy, so you'll probably want a tablecloth or something underneath it so you can just scoop it up and throw it away when you're done. But all you do is you just dip the strip in the warm water, that softens it up, and then you start sticking it on their face like this. And you can smooth it a little bit. Now, what I do is I go all the way around the outside edge of where we want the mask to be. Then I'll do a strip down the nose and then I'm gonna work around the eyes. That's, the eyes are the hardest part. So when we get to that, I'll talk to you a little bit about that. But for now, I'm just gonna do the outside edge. toward the camera. All right, so you can see I've done all the way around the outside edge and I was careful not to get too close to where the hairline is. We don't want it too close to the hairline. So now I'm going to do a strip right down the center of their nose. Like that. And then we're going to go around the eyes. Now the eyes are a little bit tricky because they're just they're just gonna be these holes in the mask and you want them to be pretty symmetrical. So you want each, they want both of the sides to look about the same. So it does take a little bit of effort to make sure you don't end up with kind of odd looking eyes. So I'm gonna start by curving one piece right over their eyebrow like this. And then I'm gonna do one underneath their eye. And of course, we're not covering up their eye, we're going around their eye. 
And these strips can bend and they're just like a fabric, so they're quite flexible. So I've got the outline around one eye and then I'm gonna to try to do the outline around the other side and have it match pretty close. And that's pretty pretty um, even, pretty close to symmetrical. So we'll go with that. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill in everywhere else where the skin is showing, except the eyes. Um, when I do the nose, I'm gonna make sure I don't cover up their nostrils so they can still breathe. Um, and then I'm gonna do a second layer to make it thick. And on that second layer, I'm gonna work on smoothing it out so it's a little bit more smooth and not the same rough texture that the fabric is. All right, so I've got the first layer done, and now I'm gonna work on the second layer, and this time I'm gonna work a little bit more on making it smooth. Okay, so now I have two layers on there. Can you turn more towards the camera? As you can see, it's pretty thick and it's already starting to dry, which is great. So now I'm just gonna look for any spots that look a little bit bare or if they're kind of bumpy and uneven and I wanna smooth them out a little bit, I can add some more. So I'm gonna just touch up the little things. If you touch it and you can feel that there are spots that are softer than other spots, then go ahead and add another little layer to that to make sure it's strong enough. All right, now we're gonna just give it a few minutes to dry. I'm gonna time it and see how long it takes so that you'll know what to expect. So it's been about five minutes and I think it's ready to peel off. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna gently start to peel it away from their face. I try to go kind of around the edges first. There we go. And sort of peel that off. And there we go. There's Cricket's face. Now we're gonna let it dry until um, it's really, really dry. Right now it's, it's getting harder, but it's not all the way dry. But once it's all the way dry, then we can paint it and add some embellishments to it and put the elastic string on it so that it's wearable. So one thing I should tell you about is how to clean the Vaseline off your face because that's coming next. It usually works best to wipe as much as you can off with a dry paper towel before you try to get it wet. And then after you get it wet, you're gonna need soap to break up the oil to get it off your face. So just dry as much as you can off with a paper towel and then you can wash your face with a little bit of soap. All right, Cricut is gonna get ready to paint their mask, but there are a couple of steps first. Um, first, they're gonna wipe out some of the bigger globs of Vaseline out of the inside so it's not quite so slimy. So just with a dry paper towel. All right, and then they're gonna find all of the little odd bits and pieces that are sticking out and just trim them off with scissors. All right, and now they're gonna start painting. All right, so Cricut has finished painting their mask and now they're gonna add some embellishments. So we've got feathers and jewels to put on there. And 
and you can do this however you want. And they're putting theirs on the side. You can put some on the top. You can do different colors. Um, I'm going to show you some other examples after Cricut is done so that you can see some of the options. Nice. All right. So the next step is going to be putting the elastic band on there so that it's wearable. All right, now it's time for the last step of the masks. All we need to do is figure out how to put on this elastic string so that the mask is wearable. So we are going to put two holes in the mask to tie the string to, and we want the holes to be at the level of where the elastic can rest on your ears. So this is kind of a weird thing, but the tops of our ears are pretty even with our eyes right here. So what we want to do is we want to put a hole in the mask right by the eye on this side and one right by the eye on this side. And then we can put the string through that. So I'm going to use my handy steak knife. It comes in useful for all kinds of things. And carefully, without having my finger behind the hole, I'm just going to twist and dig a hole in the side. It comes through pretty easily. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I don't know if you can see it, but we've got a little hole on that side and a little hole on this side. Now we just need to thread the elastic through one of those holes and just tie a double knot like this. And then I'm going to go ahead and thread the elastic through the second hole and keep it kind of loose and I'm going to put it on Cricut's head. I'm going to wrap that elastic around our head and then I'm going to pull this so that it feels snug. Does that feel snug? Does it feel too tight? Okay. And then now I know how tight we need to make it. So now I can take it off. I'm going to keep the elastic in the same place. And I just do the same thing. I tie a double knot. And would you hand me the scissors? There you go. And then we just cut off that tail. And now we have an elastic string on, hooked onto the mask. Let's see if that'll stay on. And now it's wearable. We're all done.